day had begun. The day in question was Valentine's Day, and there was a couple by the name of Natalie and Jim. Of course it was Valentine's Day, and Jim wanted to go do something with Natalie. Jim called Natalie and asked her if she would like to go out on a date that night. Natalie said yes, and they both decided to meet up around 7 o'clock, and then they were where they would go out to eat. Jim was excited, and so was his girlfriend, and he did a minister thing, such as passing the time. Eventually, 7 o'clock had finally came, and Jim drove to Natalie's house, and he had picked her up and drove off to a restaurant, which they were eating at. They finally made it there. They obviously ate there, and they talked for a long time, where Jim gave Natalie a variety of gifts. After about two hours of them being there, they went and they head to head and left. Jim wasn't sure where else they would go from there. However, Natalie recommended they should go to her house and watch some movies. Jim thought of it for a moment, and he agreed that it would be a good idea. So yet again, Jim drove Natalie to Natalie's house. Once they got there and they got in the house, they got settled and picked out some horror movies, and they began watching them. Several hours passed, but then Natalie heard a sound. It sounded like a feminine laughter. It came from the basement, and Natalie got scared by this and told Jim what she heard. He as well heard the sound. He got up and went down to the basement with Natalie following him behind. Jim walked up to the basement door and opened and turned on the light. He then began walking down the basement stairs, but before he made it all the way downstairs, he looked back up at Natalie and told her to stay there. She listened and did so. He was now in the basement and looked around till he saw her, a woman wearing a gray hoodie, blue jeans, and wearing a face mask with black rings around the eyes. The mask in question was odd to Jim, but since it was blank and motionless, and because of that, it sparkled fear within Jim's face since the fact that he couldn't, just couldn't tell what she was thinking or what the intention was. Before he could even say one word, the woman pounced on him and making him tumble to the ground. After that, she put her hand around his mouth and pulled a knife from the pocket. She quickly, she quickly jabbed it into his throat. Then, one quick motion, Jin. Of course, Jim was basically on the floor. An excuse him out of blood, and, and of course the woman got up from the corpse and looked down, admiring her work. He, she wasn't sure when he was going to be dead, but she just stared at it, like if something was to happen next. Jim, you are right, the woman heard called up the stairs. She then ran to the stairs and looked at the stairs and saw Natalie standing there, just barely on the fist, first step. Natalie gasped as she saw the human woman's bloody knife in her hand. It was obvious that Natalie, the woman, had killed Jim, and she was going to run, but she couldn't. She was just paralyzed in fear. Of course, she feared that it would happen next to her. The woman charged up the stairs in a vent tent, charging at Natalie. Right before the woman got near her, Natalie threw a quick, quick motion through her fist at the woman, and her fist made impact on the face, causing the woman to, to barely stumble back. The woman got back on her knee to prevent herself from falling and took her mask off and had tears forming in her eyes. Then she looked up a second and said, Amor, you made it. Natalie was confused, but she had felt the metal object hit her leg with great force and she fell down on the ground. Knowing that her leg was broken, she got up and saw a man who assumed to be Amor, who his clothing was dark and was wearing all black and white and was still wearing a similar mask to what the woman was wearing and holding a sledgehammer. Oh, Harley, are you okay? Did this girl hit hurt you at all? The woman was been known as Harley, ran at Amor and hugged him and said, She hurt me really badly, Amor. She hit me and made me cry. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie, Amor said while hugging Harley back. Now you stupid, stupid girl. No one hurts Harley and gets away with it. He took a panic across Natalie's face and looked up at the two. She saw Amor raise a sledgehammer up in the air and slammed it down. Both Amor and Harley... Heard a, heard a crack in the bone, and Amor, of course, killed Natalie by hitting her multiple times with a sledgehammer. He hit her multiple times until she was dead, and after that, Amor put down his hammer and hugged Harley. Happy Valentine's Day, Harley. And that, my little pretties, was 242, a uh, creepypasta written by Mr. Demon to you. Uh, Mr. Demon to you, I want to thank you so much for the story. I really do appreciate this story. You did a pretty good job, and thank you so much for writing it for me. And I really have to say, this story was actually a really amazing, 
Oh my goodness, I actually freaked out at this when I first saw it. Like, it was so graphic and stuff. Holy, oh my goodness. <laughs> that story was just really, really freak, freaky -y as well. So, <laughs> that's definitely a positive that I can say about this story. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to get on with the review right now. So, what did I exactly like about the story? Well, to be honest, I actually found this story to be rather amazing and well done. The concept itself is just flat out amazing and stuff. So it, I could say that it was pretty freaky. Despite the fact that this story was actually, you know, pretty good. But in a matter of way, this story was actually just, um, just bad. Well, not bad, but it's just good. It's not a bad story. I'm going to be honest because nowadays... Creepypastas are just not, you know, scary, but this story actually did some good. And that's definitely saying right something right now. I'm definitely saying right now that the story was absolutely amazing and really well done. Done, so I definitely have to say <laughs> the story was actually pretty good. Now, sorry about that. I'm just chatting with someone on Discord. Not saying who, I'm just chatting with somebody on Discord, but you know. Let's just get with the review, and I'm trying to get this review out of the way. Now, I definitely say that that this one is actually pretty interesting and amazing. The story actually, you know, flat out, you know, looked correct. Like, I could actually see this being the case. It's scary, don't get me wrong, but, you know, this story was actually pretty amazing. I do have to say, this is probably giving me one of the good reasons why not to celebrate Valentine's Day again. Well, <laughs> This one is actually very scary. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. I do have to say, the sentence structuring was pretty good of its own self. I can definitely say that. The sentence structuring did a very well done and well job in the story. So, it did play a good part in it that, you know, it didn't go all over the place like most creepypastas do. So, that's definitely a, uh, a plus. I can definitely say that, you know, the whole concept itself is, um pretty good right now so I can definitely say the story was actually pretty cool so I could definitely say and I am um, sorry about that I'm having I'm talking to someone on discord and it's kind of you know I'm not trying to sound rude I'm not rude at all or anything like that it's just sorry I was just had to mess answer a message on discord but other than that okay I'm going to try to wrap up this review. Um, I could definitely say the sentence structuring of its own self was pretty good. That's a positive I can definitely say. Because most creepypastas does, I have seen do pretty good, decent, and I've seen some bad ones. But the bad ones are definitely um, another day. Okay. Now, I'm definitely going to say the grammar was pretty good. But although I think there might have been a few grammatical errors in the story. There was just a few of them in there. So... I kind of stuttered, I stuttered a bit at certain parts was because they didn't have either the right grammar or the right proper punctuation marks. So that was actually one of the reasons why this story was not great. Well, I'm, I'm not saying, why am I saying it's not great? Uh, I guess I say it's great like that. Oh my God. I'm sorry if I'm not speaking right today. I don't know what it is up with me, but okay. I don't know what's up with me, so... I could definitely say that, you know, I'm, I woke up and I'm just like, you know, a little bit, you know, on the haze right now. Because when I sometimes do these reviews, I sometimes mess up on the reviews and I do apologize for that. But because when I'm busy doing something and trying to record a story at the same time, it does get in the way at times. I know I could have just put off something till later, but you know, okay, I guess this is probably gonna, you know, probably being pretty good so the sentence structure was good the paragraph structure was great the storyline was pretty great i like the characters in the story very freaky don't get me wrong and very brutal so that's why i had to i ended up was like oh my god it was really freaky like mr demon do you to you you did a good job with the story that's a very good positive i have to say was that it was a very good story now, if you were to make another story, feel free to make more stories and feel free to send them to me because I'll be happy to take a look at them. So with that being said, the story was actually really well done, really well made, very good, 
time and effort was into the story, and I do appreciate the good grammar and stuff. So, and I do appreciate it not being cliched, well, except for a little bit of blood, but you know, I'm excusing blood if there's like a good reason, and there is. So that's definitely a positive that I could say. All right. I guess I'm just going to wrap up the review because I already said what I liked about it. I don't have anything negative to say about this story. So I'm just going to wrap it up as saying this right now. I'm going to say right now that this is simply my own personal opinion. If you disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these curry pastas. This is simply my own personal thoughts. Uh, my final rating of the story would have to be a um, uh, 10 out of 10. Pretty good story, very, very well made, good concept, and I actually really like this story. So, yeah, and I really have to say the suspense in there and the horror in this was just, oh my goodness, it was just freaky and amazing, Mr. Demon to you. You did a really good job with this story, so I definitely have to say, you are writing really well, so, yeah. Anyways, what did you all think about this, uh, Cree pasta? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what we have done personally to help make this story a lot better? Leave me know your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you're brand new here to this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so that you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace out. And as always, please roll the outro because I'm out of here and I'll catch you all in the next video.